Well, the One Piece chapter 739. Excitement is still in the air, but now I'm even wishing for more. I'm wishing, please, can't just the toy curse be disabled already? Because now, an answer that a lot of people, I'm pretty sure, have already guessed have finally been answered. And here's the thing. I know a lot of you are not going to believe me, but I actually begin to think about it before this chapter get premiered. Could it be? Could it be that that toy soldier is, and now all of you who guessed it are correct? Basically, this chapter is, well, first Treble realizes his uh, clumsy mistake, and he captures all the dwarf, but Robin and Usopp manage to get away. And by using the gullible nature of the dwarfs, Treble managed to find out that there is someone here, and uh, that the toy soldier is involved. He then appear, he reveals that the stickiness he has is even flammable and can ex and can explode. Just what kind of logia is that? If it is a logia, even uh, after all, Usopp finds Leo knocked out uh, but still uh, alive, and uh, I mean, well, he is he's not unconscious, and uh, and the, and the dwarf reveals to Usopp that he's betting everything on the captain because the he, the strategy must succeed because the captain is the only one who can defeat Don Flamingo, according to them all. And, but the toy soldier is having a hard time against Lao Ji. And we see the flashback that, man, that many gladiators are, were happy when Don Flamingo reached an agent, but, apparent, but the toy soldier was the only one who actually saw through the strategy before this happened. Or did he? Well, either way, he told Rebecca he did not want him to, her to participate in the tournament. But, um, uh, but she still wanted to, because she couldn't just take the wall of despair anymore. And uh, and she has even begged the, the fact that the one the the Kuros, the gladiator, whoever that was, could have been to their aid. And when she scolds the toy soldier by saying he's just a one-legged toy soldier, the toy soldier leaves, and then begins to move ahead. Elsewhere, uh, Rebecca tries to fight Diamante but can't. But I'm actually, uh, oh yeah, it's revealed that Rebecca is 16 years old. Uh, and, uh, but I'm also wondering, the, the, the wait, um, never mind. What I'm trying to say is, it's revealed that Rebecca's blade is, is, is not etched. I mean, it's not sharp. It's basically the same thing that Rico Dold the Thirteen as Ricky had, which reveals this also reveals that even Ricky Dold had a uh, had a moral code of not to kill people. But uh, of course, it's not anything against Diamante, who who somehow transform, who thanks to the devil for transform. What is it? A phone or a wallet into a edge, and actually makes for the first time the woman bleed. And she and he and this time it's he, Diamante taunts her about the, how the to toy soldier was so angry of not being able to protect her mom, her mother, and uh, Sabo asks Bartolomeo again saying his name wrong of uh, protecting Rebecca. This means that revolutionary, even though they are now enemies in the ring, Sabo wants Rebecca alive because well. She's important to whatever's gonna happen, or this could very well. This also reveals that Viola must most certainly had a contact with the, the revolutionary. Either way, and here finally, now I'm finally gonna tell you what I mean, even though it even though the title give it away. And what I mean to say is, Leo reveals that the toy soldier is actually the only one who do not have a contract with the Don Kyoto family. The Don the toys remember who they are, and they are crying in their sleep. But they cannot rebel against the Don Kyoto family because they are on a contract. However, when Sugar turned the one-legged soldier into a toy, she forgot to make a contract with him. Do not know how, though. But it revealed that the real identity of the toy soldier is indeed Kairos, the strongest gladiator in the gladiator's history. Yeah! That's excitement. A, a lot of people guessed that, and now it was true. Kairos really is the one-legged toy soldier. 
but and this means all the more that sugar needs to be knocked out damn it how many chapters must we wait until sugar finally is like this and hopefully this will uh, move Usopp's cowardly soul and somehow make find a way to you know what defeat sugar because if the toy soldier turned back to Kairos. Oh my god, it will be hell. And here's a funny fact. When we see a flashback on uh, everyone is celebrating the fact that Don Flamingo did not uh, resign, I see a toy actually holding his head low. And that's almost, a, that's almost like a giving away hint that the toys are suffering at the hands of Don Quixote family. But I'm still a bit curious. Why are they all putting on an... Well, well duh, but... What I meant to say is, why are they all putting on an act in the Colosseum and celebrating for that thing if they really know the Don Quixote family turned them against them? The easy answer is, of course, they must do that. If not, then the entire then they will think they then they will be thrown into the scrap. Still, to rebel uh, would have been good. But as I said, there's a contract, which means that that's the reason why no toy has actually managed to plan a rebellion because they are under a contract from Sugar. No toy can disobey an order from the Don Quixote family, but they can remember who they are. That's the true terror of the toy toy fruit. Can Usopp knock out Sugar? I doubt he will knock her out in the next chapter, but at least I hope we see Usopp and Robin's new plan. We need hope. See ya.